Fight, fight fans, as we move on, the next bout of the evening is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the Ring of Fire 185-pound division. This bout sponsored by Tap Out and Epic Vodka. Introducing to you first, ladies and gentlemen, the man standing to my left and fighting out of the blue corner, wearing blue with white. He is a boxer. As a professional, he is undefeated at four victories, no defeats, two of those wins coming by way of submission. Standing six feet, one inches tall, official weight tonight, 185 pounds, representing the J Sect and One Kick, sponsored by Fight Capital, and fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, Andreas, sweet, sweet, spring. And ladies and gentlemen, his opponent, the man standing to my right and fighting out of the red corner, wearing orange with black and white trim. He is a Brazilian jiu-jitsu specialist who also has an undefeated record of four victories, no defeats, Three of those winning coming by way of submission. Standing six feet, one inches tall. Official weight tonight, 185 pounds. Representing Eastern Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and sponsored by Cats Chiropractic and Advanced My Athlete. Fighting out of Boulder, Colorado, he is the Pan-American Jiu-Jitsu Champion, Sean Dynamite C Oh man, you can feel the intensity between these two. Andreas Bang, Sean Sims. Ring of Fire 38 Ascension underway. Getting close to the end of the card and these two fighters are looking to bring it. Talked to both of them at the weigh-in yesterday. Both of them are supremely confident that they're gonna come out on top and you see the exchange. No feeling out process, just immediately going to blows. And interesting, both of them talk about, ooh, Low blow there for Andreas. Both of them talk about their striking, and Andreas, for example, lists himself as a boxer. Sean, on the other hand, says that he uh, has really, really strong hands as well, working with Elliot Marshall. However, both of their, uh, their wins on, in, in either column, majority come from submission. And Sean Sims, very, very skilled jiu-jitsu practitioner. He actually moved from Alaska to train with Elliot Marshall in jiu-jitsu. That's a commitment. That certainly is a commitment, but you're looking at mirror images physically and professionally. Both six foot one, both 185 pounds, and both sporting a full record with the majority of their wins coming by way of submission. It just, you don't see that every day. No, you don't. And, and when it comes to striking, I mean, neither of them looks like they're even thinking about the shot right now. Maybe they're setting it up, but uh, both look like they've got good hands, and they're putting them to good use so far. And as you can see, Sean, you know, I mean, Sean is, you know, he's really, he, he's really trying to get that advantage, and it just looks like that, whoa, he's going high, and he goes down low. Big slam from Sean Sims. He's on top right now in side control, wearing the orange trunks, immediately looking for that mount. Looks like he may have ended up, yeah, he did, back in the half guard of Andreas Spang, who's wearing the, the blue and the white, and he's now on the bottom. Sean Sims starting to turn it up a little bit. And you know, Andreas better watch out. Those unanswered shots, the referee is gonna go ahead and call this one if there's too many of those unanswered shots. But did you see the height of that takedown? He had to have been halfway to the stratosphere in that one. He did actually lift him up over his own head, which is really impressive. But Andreas doing a nice job trying to scramble out of it. However, he's gotta be careful that he doesn't give up his back. Sean Sims, a very technical jujitsu practitioner. He's got his black belt under Elliot Marshall. Any black belt in jiu-jitsu, you gotta be careful, especially when you've got somebody up against a cage like this. That may actually be helping Andreas, but yeah, look at this. Even though Andreas has the head right now of Sean Sims, uh, Sean has ended up in a full mount position. Andreas is desperately trying to get out of it. But to no avail, uh, Sean doing a very nice job of maintaining control from that top position. 
and uh, sticking with that full mount. Very easy to get out of that one with once, you know, but I mean, there's not really a lot of giving in either one of these guys when it comes to height or weight and everything like that because of the fact that they're both sitting about exactly the same height and the same weight, so leverage is about the same, but it seems that Sean is one step ahead of Andreas, and it looks like he's got him in that rear naked choke, and that might be sent in there. Yeah, we just saw the transition there from having the hooks in to the figure four body lock, and notice how uh, Sean has got the body lock on Andreas, and it, it really cuts off and restricts the flow of oxygen that Andreas is able to take in. And that's one of those things that as, as the round wears on, if this position is able to be maintained by Sean, it can really wear on Andreas. He's starting to soften him up with some of those punches, but if on top of that, he's not able to breathe properly. Oh, nice job by Andreas. Turns into his opponent, gets out of a terrible position where he had his back taken by a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, had the figure four body lock on him, and he's able to end up in the full guard of Sean Sims. Nice job by Andreas. Very much so. I mean, you know, it looks like he's not ready to go quietly in the night just yet. You know, Sean is really up against that cage. Man, he's in a very precarious situation up against that cage. And back to their feet. I like it, as does the crowd. Round of applause. Good show of jiu-jitsu skills on the part of Sean Sims. Andreas is nice. Oh, oh that is oh. it, ladies and gentlemen. And that is all she wrote. Huge, huge knockout. Andreas Spang from Las Vegas, Nevada just puts to sleep Sean Sims. He pops right back up, and he's still very loose on his feet right now. Amazing knockout. Huge, devastating punch. Puts him to sleep. Wow. We'll look at the replay could... here in just a moment. You better believe after a shot Woo! like that that they've got the ringside position in there to make sure that the lights are still on. You know, it could be very well that the lights may be on, but nobody is behind the wheel. I mean, after a shot like that, you know, you could spend, you know, days and months out being a couple of tacos short of a combination plate. Oh, man. Oh. Just a huge left hook. Just put him to sleep, one shot, caught him right on the button, and you can tell these guys were in there trading punches, and any time that you do that, like we said earlier, it leaves you susceptible to taking a huge shot, especially if you're throwing a big looping punch of your own, and just a huge left hand on the part of Andreas Spang, walking away with a big knockout victory. And Sean looks like he's fine, he's back to his feet, standing up just fine, congratulates his opponent. And Andreas maintains his perfect record, moving to 5-0. and oh. We'll get the official decision from the judges and talk with our winner in just a moment here at Ring of Fire 38 Ascension from the First Bank Center in Broomfield, Colorado. Ladies and gentlemen, we have your official time at three minutes and 38 seconds of round number one for the winner by knockout and fighting out of the blue corner, Andreas Sweet Sweet Spring! Andreas, tell us how you're feeling right now, man. That was a huge shot that knocked him out. Were you expecting a knockout tonight? So, okay, let, let's, let's recap. It seems like you're still really excited right now, almost in shock a little bit. He's a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. It went to the ground, he had your back. Were you in serious trouble at that point? I wasn't in really serious trouble, but uh, didn't really work my plan. He's going to have to be in the bottom with him on top of me. He was uh, good and strong in the ground. How many knockouts do you have on your professional record at this point? Because that was a devastating shot that just put him away. You know what, that was my first one. But, you know, that's what I'm saying, boxing, baby. 
I'm gonna say, if you're gonna do a knockout, that was the way to do it. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Andreas Spang.